Make something of yourself. He's pissed. <laughs> You lied to us. There's a few factors that go into how we execute a transformation on the film. It's the character that's doing it, the kind of emotional feel of the, of the scene, the, the attitude of the character at that particular moment. So, like Optimus, when he transforms after Sentinel has kind of done his damage at, at Nest, there's a more of a slow, kind of somber way that he transforms. Whereas when Bumblebee ejects Sam on the freeway, there, it's a very explosive, uh, transformation because you're in the midst of battle and uh, it's kind of desperate. We have to stay kind of in line with how the audience is feeling at that particular moment, what would make sense to them and, and what makes sense for the characters, how they would behave, and it's, it's an extension of their acting. If you'll notice that the Autobots transform in a different way than the Decepticons, that's intentional. <laughs> In the same way that they're design cues in, in both the Autobots versus the Decepticons. The Decepticons are kind of jagged and dangerous if you if you get close to them and touch them. Uh, and we wanted to kind of convey that same type of uh, difference in the way that they transform. Autobots have an elegance, whereas the Decepticons have an abrasive, kind of sharp way that they, they transform. Their movements are very aggressive as opposed to the Autobots.